Services Youth at Work Town Hall event. At this time, all participants are in a listen-only mode. Later, we will conduct a question and answer session. If you have a question, please raise your hand by clicking on the hand icon or send the chat to the host to be placed in queue. If you should require assistance during the call, please message the event host directly. I would now like to turn the conference over to our host, Otto Solorzano. Otto, please go ahead. Good morning, thank you, buenos dias. Welcome to our 21, 2021 kickoff of our Summer Youth at Work program. I am so glad you could join us. My name is Otto Solorzano. I'm the acting director of the LA County Department of Workforce Development, Aging and Community Services, also known as WIDAX. Um, I would like to thank Supervisor Solis and the entire Board of Supervisors for their leadership and for their support of our Youth at Work program. Uh, and for this morning, I'd like to thank Norma Garcia Gonzalez. She is the LA County Department Director uh, of the Department of Parks and Recreation, and also Chief Adolfo Gonzalez of the Probation Department. Thank you for being here to talk about how youth at work participants have enriched the work of their departments. I would also like to thank uh, Mary Hewitt, one of our LA County Workforce Development Board Commissioners. She is here to say a few words. And thank you to Deborah Skako of the Los Angeles Cleantech Incubator. She'll talk about the tremendous life-saving impacts made by youth at work participants during this pandemic. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, we'll hear from Kevin Palacios, a youth at work participant, and how this program has impacted his life. Uh, the youth at work program exists because of the support of so many departments in the county. I would like to specifically thank uh, Fisia Devenport of the LA County CEO, uh, as well as the Department of Human Resources, the Internal Services Department, DCFS, DPSS, and many other partners who have been helping us to make this program a success. And now let me just uh, turn uh, to Supervisor Solis. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce her. She is a lifelong resident of the San Gabriel Valley, a graduate of Cal Poly Pomona and USC. Uh, Supervisor Solis has served on the Rio Hondo Community College Board in the State Assembly and State Senate and in the House of Representatives. Prior to becoming Supervisor, um, Supervisor Solis served as Secretary of Labor under President Obama the first Latina to ever serve in the presidential cabinet. Today, Supervisor Solis represents the San Gabriel Valley, Northeast, Southeast, and East LA as the Los Angeles County Supervisor for the first district. Supervisor, thank you so much for being here today, and I turn it over to you. Thank you so much, Otto, and, and buenos dias a todos. I wanna thank the WEDAX team especially for helping us launch this very special summer 2021 kickoff for youth at work. And I too also would like to thank the following departments for their partnership in this very important initiative. So yes, the CEO, Human Resources, Parks and Recreation, Internal Services, Probation, Children and Family Services, Public Social Services, and so many, many more. And while this is the summer kickoff of our LA County Youth and Businesses, we, need, we know that Youth at Work is now a year-round program, and it subsidizes employment for our youth. Ensuring year-round employment is elevated uh, to the board's level, and this is what our vision has been. And I want to tell you that this is something very personal to me, because one of my first jobs that I had uh, as a youth at 14 years of age was a recreation aid in fact, during the summer. That was my first job and my first paycheck, and I will never forget that. And while LA County uh, did have to make some sacrifices, as you know, during this uh, past 15 months during the pandemic, I'm very proud that the youth at work participants who stepped up this past year to help our community struggling through the pandemic, 
And I want to give a special shout out to the 160 youth who assembled over 100,000 face shields for local hospitals. You have literally saved lives and we want to thank you so much. Felicidades. And I'm also pleased that my colleagues on the Board of Supervisors were able to secure funding for the essential program for this coming year. In fact, Youth at Work is fully funded for the next fiscal year. And that means to all of us that 10,000 youth will receive 20 hours of paid personal enrichment training plus 100 hours of subsidized work experience in private companies, government agencies, and community organizations. And we have a special focus to encourage disconnected youth, including CalWORKs students, current and former foster youth, youth who have experience in our justice system or have experienced homelessness. If this is you, we want you to apply for this program. And as former Secretary of Labor under President Obama, I know how important it is to invest in our young people because you are our human resource. LA County is leading the way to prepare young people to be competitive for demand-driven skill-based careers in our regional economy. We have a place for you. And we're committed to making sure that you have all the tools that are necessary to help you achieve your goals. So please go to workforce.lacounty.gov slash youth at work to apply. LA County is also focused on doing everything we can to support our small businesses who have struggled through the pandemic. Your success, small businesses, is our success. So please consider joining and being a partner with Youth at Work as an employer. You'll be matched with trained youth workers who will help your business thrive in this new economy. And LA will pay and subsidize their wages. Youth at Work is a win-win for all of us. So again, go to workforce.lacounty.gov slash youth at work to learn more and please apply and please tell your friends also. I wanna thank you again, Otto, and to all the WEDAX team for spearheading this important program and all of our departments and our public-private partnerships for all of our youth and our families and our local businesses and everyone in LA County. So thank you again. Brevemente en español, me da mucho alegría compartir con ustedes que este verano el Condado de Los Ángeles va a lanzar el programa de trabajos para los jóvenes, known as Youth at Work. Este programa estará abierto todo el año. Durante la pandemia, el condado tuvo a varios jóvenes en este programa que ayudarán a las comunidades. Quiero agradecer personalmente a más de 160 jóvenes que hicieron más que mil, uh, 100 mil protectores de, de la cara para los hospitales locales. Ellos salvarán vidas. Gracias y felicidades. Estoy contenta que mis colegas del conjunto de supervisores y yo pudimos asegurar fondos para extender este programa hasta el próximo año. Esto también quiere decir que más que 10 mil jóvenes pueden recibir 20 horas de entrenamiento y más de 100 horas de trabajo en empresas privadas, agencias del gobierno y organizaciones comunitarias. Queremos animar a los jóvenes que no están conectados, incluyendo a los jóvenes en los programas, programas de CalWORKs, jóvenes de crianza temporal, jóvenes que tienen experiencia con nuestro sistema justicia o que tienen experiencia con la falta de vivienda. Si esta persona es usted, por favor, aplica en este programa. El condado está abriendo el camino, preparando a los jóvenes para el futuro. Estamos cometidos en asegurar que todos tengan los recursos para seguir con sus sueños. El éxito, el éxito de ustedes es el éxito de todos. Por favor, vayan y visita a workforce.lacounty.gov slash youth at work. Este programa también ayudará a los negocios pequeños. Si usted es un dueño de un negocio pequeño, lo, quiero animar a ustedes para que también pueden participar con este programa Youth at Work como empleador. Los jóvenes en, pueden uh, a recibir entrenamiento y después trabajando ahí en su negocio. Si usted quiere más información, por favor, llámanos. 
Gracias a Otto y todo el equipo de WIDAX por ayudarnos a lanzar este programa muy importante para los jóvenes y las familias que han sufrido tanto en este año pasado. Con mucho gusto, felicidades a todos. Gracias. Muchas gracias, Supervisor Solís. Thank you. Thank you for your words. And now I would like to introduce Norma Garcia González. She is the director of the LA County Department of Parks and Recreation. Norma. Thank you, Otto. And thank you, Supervisor Solis, for your inspiring words and for always serving as a champion to our youth. Good morning, everyone. I am so excited to join you today and highlight Youth at Work, an investment in our youth, their future, and our communities. LA County Parks is proud to be the largest employer of youth this summer. We expect to hire over 500 youth to provide public service in our local parks. Youth at Work is a wonderful partnership with the Board of Supervisors and WEDAX to provide youth an opportunity to get work experience. And in the case of my department, provide youth with mentors as they navigate their first job. Together, we have linked our youth and, and young adults ages 14 to 24 with the job experience in their own community and in close proximity from their home. We all remember our first job. I started at my local park as a youth worker. I still remember working in the summer lunch program. It was a valuable experience, one that changed my life and the trajectory of my career. Youth at Work also helps LA County Parks provide much needed services to our communities like helping to serve our summer and snack program to thousands of youth and providing recreation programs. On June 15th, I am proud to be launching the Department of Parks and Recreation Summer Programming. In programs like Everybody Plays Summer Adventure, our youth at work will support our recreation staff to provide programming from sports clinics to arts and crafts, games and activities. At Everybody Explores, Youth at Work will assist in animal care, learning about horticulture, and how to care for our native gardens and vegetation, as well as serve as ambassadors of our nature centers. And at Everybody Swims, youth workers will serve as pool greeters and also support our swimming pools and aquatic centers by checking in swimming attendants. LA County Parks and Recreation is proud to empower the next generation of youth through real life experience inspiring youth to make a difference in their own communities and providing them training, teamwork activities, mentorship and guidance to build a foundation on career skills and all while having some summer fun at LA County Parks. I invite 14 to 24 year olds to apply at Youth at Work and build friendships, social networks and skills that will last a lifetime. Muy buenos días. Estoy feliz de estar aquí con ustedes y promover Youth at Work, jóvenes trabajando en el condado de Los Ángeles. Gracias a la mesa directiva de las supervisoras y WIDAX, este programa ofrece entrenamiento y un trabajo para nuestros jóvenes de 14 a 24 años. Para la mayoría de los participantes, esta experiencia es su primer trabajo. Durante el verano, los jóvenes de Youth at Work nos ayudarán con los programas Todos Juegan, Todos Exploran y Todos Nadan en los parques del Condado de Los Ángeles. Los jóvenes ayudarán a nuestros líderes de recreación con actividades de arte, con juegos y con deportes. Los jóvenes también nos ayudarán como recepcionistas en las piscinas y asistentes de registro en los centros acuáticos. Estoy muy orgullosa de invertir en el futuro de nuestros jóvenes y ofrecer oportunidades a más de 500 jóvenes para empezar su carrera en el Departamento de Parques y Recreaciones en el Condado de Los Ángeles. Mi primer trabajo fue un, en un parque en mi comunidad y esa experiencia fue profunda para mí y realmente influyó en mi carrera. Y aquí estoy como directora del departamento. A todos los jóvenes de 14 a 24, los invito a inscribirse en Youth at Work. No pierdan esta oportunidad de trabajar en su comunidad y conocer a otros jóvenes 
que tienen las mismas esperanzas y metas que ustedes. Y aquí estamos para ayudarlos y apoyarlos. Muchísimas gracias, Otto. Gracias, Norma. Thank you so much. And now I would like to introduce another one of our partners in our County Youth Award Program. And this is Chief Adolfo Gonzalez from the Probation Department. Chief Gonzalez. Good morning, Otto. Good morning, everyone. And thank you, Supervisor Solis, for your tremendous support as well as the Board of Supervisors to making this happen. Uh, again, good morning. And it's a great partnership with the uh, WIDAC, uh, Workforce Development and Agent and Community Services that helps our young people through the program Youth at Work. Uh, as you know, in probation, we have a number of youth that are in our care and custody, as well as youth that we have in the community. Last year, uh, excuse me, 2019, 2020, we had 146 youth participate in this program. Last year, because of COVID, we had a smaller number. We only had 126 youth. Our goal is to increase those numbers and we make the funding available through the Juvenile Justice Crime Prevention Act to support this program. And I hope we can increase those numbers. As you heard from the Park and Rec, having 500 youth involved is terrific. Uh, so far this year, we have, excuse me, we have about 77 youth participating and we hope to get more in the coming years. This is a great opportunity for young people, as you heard before. For many of them, this is the first job that they have. Uh, and it gives them really live work experience as well as giving back to their community. Uh, supporting our, our community goes a long way for giving back. Here in the probation department, we spend about 120 hours of work and about 20 hours of training. Uh, 20 hours of training include um, development of resumes, uh, developing financial literacy, learning about personal budget, and learning about completing employment applications and getting ready for the workforce uh, in the community. We also have um, work that we do with our libraries. We support our libraries, we do peer tutoring. There, I've seen young people helping other kids with their homework through the online uh, educational program. We have used that work in our kitchen crews, supporting the, the preparation of meals and service to others. And of course, the beautification of facilities, working uh, to get hands-on experience in, in doing that type of work. And the partnership also extends to the America Job Centers of California. And we had that here in Los Angeles. With over 40 agencies participating, we have opportunities for everyone in many different fields. And again, I want to thank WIDAC and Otto and everyone involved in making this possible. Otto en español. Buenos días. Soy el director de Condiciones de Libertad aquí del Condado de Los Ángeles. Quiero invitar a todos que participen en el programa Youth at Work. Aquí tenemos la oportunidad para tener muchos jóvenes de edad de 14 a 24 años que se agarren trabajo aquí en el condado con diferentes cooperaciones para que se preparen para el futuro. Aquí con nosotros en el departamento hemos tenido 146 jóvenes en el año 2019-2020 y 126 jóvenes participaron el año pasado. Este año llevamos ya 77 jóvenes que están participando al, al presente y queremos tener más jóvenes que se preparen cuando estén en la comunidad para que sirvan a nuestra comunidad. Tienen demasiada oportunidad aquí ahorita con el Condado de Los Ángeles que ha puesto muchos recursos para que se preparen y estén capacitados para el futuro. Ya escucharon del, 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 del Departamento de, 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 de Parques que tienen 500 posiciones disponibles. Aquí en el Condado esperamos tener 10,000 pues, pesos o oportunidades para todos los jóvenes que quieran trabajo. Um, y trabajamos también con muchas uh, comunidades de, de que tienen negocios pequeños que puedan servir a nuestra comunidad para que se preparen para el futuro. Otra vez, quiero dar las gracias a la supervisora Gilda Solís y los regidores del Condado de Los Ángeles por el apoyo que nos dan para apoyar a nuestros jóvenes. Muchísimas gracias y apliquen por estos puestos que están abiertos ahorita. Gracias. Muchas gracias, Chief González. Thank you so much for the partnership with your department. We really appreciate you. And now I'd like to, to uh, introduce Mary Hewitt. She is a commissioner of our County uh, Workforce Development Board, who oversees the policy side of all of our youth programs. Ms. Hewitt. Good morning, and thank you for this opportunity to share with you a bit about the role of the Los Angeles County Workforce Development Board. The board focuses on building a strong workforce development system aligned with education policies and economic development goals. The board is also responsible for providing policy guidance and direction, evaluating performance and recommending continuous improvements, playing a central role in building the talent pipeline for the future. 
Both adult and youth services include connecting job seekers from the One Stop Career Service System to the school system's network of vocational and adult education programs. The Workforce Development Board actively coordinates workforce services with employers to meet emergency emerging workforce needs and develop innovative approaches to educate and train priority populations. We support programs that provide workers with tools for economic advancement, including educational opportunities, job training, and financial coaching. Our 138 Boys and Girls Club sites have benefited greatly from these efforts with hundreds of our youth participating in the Youth at Work program and about a quarter of those securing jobs in various industries providing economic and income mobility. We know that the approximately 130,000 youth we serve will benefit greatly from these programs and opportunities, changing their futures and ultimately their communities in Los Angeles County. I am personally and professionally grateful for our partnership with the county and other organizations for the betterment of our Los Angeles youth. Coming out of post-pandemic recovery and response, it is important to focus now more than ever to provide our youth and communities the jobs they need and deserve. Thank you for your support and partnership, and we look forward to planning great outcomes and futures for our communities. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Hewitt, and thank you for your leadership in our Workforce Development Board. We really appreciate you. And now um, it's my pleasure to introduce Deborah Skako of the Los Angeles Clean Tech Incubator. Deborah. Thank you so much. It's an honor to speak with you all today. Uh, my name is Deborah Stacco. In regular times, I am an artist and the founding director of the Air Artist in Residence program. And in COVID times, I am also the director of Lacey's Collaborative Emergency Response Operation. When the pandemic set in, we at Lacey turned our attention to how our prototyping facility could be of service and began a collaboration with Los Angeles Public Library's Octavia Lab to manufacture and distribute face shields. In parallel, Youth at Work and AJCC had reached out to Lacey about opportunities to employ youth. We realized this could be the perfect way to bring even more meaning to this humanitarian effort. We quickly expanded the team beyond Lacey and Octavia Lab to in include Youth at Work, AJCC, Goodwill of Southern California, City of Baldwin Park, Greater Los Angeles Hospital Registry, Greyhound Packaging, and Serve Pro to collectively manufacture, assemble, and deliver face shields to LA County hospitals and social care workers. With this collaboration in place, we've raised over $200,000 to support manufacturing and through our collaboration with AJCC have employed over 160 youth in shield assembly. Lacey also facilitated a weekly colloquial series via Zoom, providing a glimpse into working in clean tech, including talks on project management, manufacturing, starting off as an entrepreneur and 3D printing. We really see this project as a bridge to careers in clean tech, manufacturing and future opportunities at Lacey for the youth involved in the program. Thanks to consistently excellent youth workers, an incredible team, and the generosity of our supporters, we surpassed our, orig our original goal of 10,000 shields more than tenfold, having now donated 103,241 shields to hospitals, social work organizations, and vaccination centers across Los Angeles. Due to the restrictions of COVID, we had all kinds of safety considerations, which were beautifully handled by the AJCC team who, secured a, a, who sourced a location and managed the assembly and packing process for the youth. This collaboration has been extraordinary for many reasons. One being the full team has never been in the same room together. And of course, we collectively had the opportunity to be of service to our frontline workers made possible by the work of over 160 outstanding youth. And we built meaningful collaborative relationships that will continue long past this project. We're so grateful for the skills and dedication of the entire AJCC team and of course the youth that allowed us to expand this operation exponentially and continue to serve the Los Angeles community during this historic time. Thank you so much to WEDEX, AJC, AJCC and Youth at Work for the opportunity. Thank you so much, Deborah. Thank you for your partnership. And as you can hear and you can see our program has had an impact during COVID and I appreciate that partnership. And uh, now, uh, last but certainly not least, um, I would like to introduce Kevin Palacios to talk about his experience in our Youth Award program. Kevin. Hello, everyone. <laughs> My name is Kevin Palacios. I was born in Southern California, and I'm the proud son to a Mexican single mother. 
Like many of you, my life has not been without struggle. Today, however, I'd like to talk to you about opportunity. As a political science undergrad, I struggled early on with finding the right path toward my dream and truthfully had no real clue as to where to start. All I knew is that I wanted to help those around me, especially after the events of the last year, which affected strangers, neighbors, and even family. This drive led me to working at a COVID-19 laboratory, wanting to do my part during these decisive times. While working there, I was referred to the East LA AJCC and explained the potential it held. With the supporting guidance of said organization, and more specifically the Youth App program, I was afforded the opportunity to work for one of my role models, First District Supervisor Hilda Solis, at her East LA district office. <laughs> Wanting to help the world heal, all the while having an intense interest for the world of politics, this felt like a natural progression to my life. The efforts of Supervisor Hilda Solis, her amazing staff, and the countless volunteers who helped tirelessly answering phone calls, helping with food drives and vaccination sites, have reaffirmed the love and appreciation I have for my intended major. I am so grateful for the opportunity that Youth at Work gave me. Engaging with my community, with so many like-minded individuals, has been a great learning experience and environment. I'm excited to take all Youth at Work taught me to college and beyond. Ahora brevemente en español. Hola, mi nombre es Kevin Palacios y soy el hijo orgulloso de una madre soltera mexicana. Estudiando ciencias políticas, siempre supe que quise ayudar a mi comunidad. No fue hasta ser referido a la hoja AJCC que comenzó la ruta hacia mi futuro. Ahora tengo el placer de ser un interno para una de mis ídolas, la supervisora del primer distrito, Hilda Solís, en sus oficinas del este de Los Ángeles, a través de Youth at Work. Estoy tan agradecido de la oportunidad que me dio Youth at Work, participando activamente en mi comunidad con tantos individuos con metas similares a las mías, ha sido una gran experiencia de aprendizaje y un gran ambiente. Estoy emocionado de aplicar todo lo que Youth at Work me ha enseñado a mi colegio y al futuro que sigue. Muchas gracias. Keden, muchas gracias. And thank you for sharing your story. And I'm so delighted to hear the impact our Youth at Work program has had in your life. Um, now, before we get to Q&A, um, I want to encourage Youth at Work and LA County employers to apply for Youth at Work. It's truly a win-win situation. We're looking for more employers who would like to bring more youth into their program. We are looking for youth who would like to apply and be a part of this life-changing experience. To apply, please go to workforce.lacounty.gov youth at work. Let me say it again, workforce.lacounty.gov slash youth at work. And now we would like to see if there are uh, any questions. Ladies and gentlemen, if you wish to ask a question, please raise your hand using the hand icon or send the host a chat with your name and outlet to be placed in queue. One moment, please, as we queue up for questions. Our first question comes from Jeremy Loudenbach. Jeremy, your line is unmuted. Please go ahead. Hi there. A uh, couple couple questions. Uh, first question is for Kevin. Uh, can you sh share what one lesson you may have learned while working in uh, Supervisor Solis's office? Um, would be interested if you have any stories or or any um, things that you lessons learned during during your time working with her. Of course, Jeremy, and I apologize if the phone <laughs> might have started ringing. So I guess the biggest lesson I learned is just the importance one individual can truly make in this world. Everyone always says like, yeah, you can make a difference, right? And I don't think the youth nowadays really take that for what it is. But you know, after participating in several of the Hilda Salisa vaccination sites. I've come to realize how much of a difference I can make as an individual and gives me an 
encouraging thought as to a potential future. I don't know if that answered your question. <laughs> sure. Uh, thank you. Um, and then I've got another question if, if there's time here. Go ahead, Jeremy. Sure. Um, can you maybe share um, for um, disconnected young people, um, as, as you mentioned, who particular, uh, participate in the Youth at Work program, I'm, I'm talking about young people from the foster care system or uh, from the juvenile justice system or who, who might be experiencing homelessness. Um, um, you know, what sort of outreach um, efforts do you use to kind of connect with these young people and why is this job program particularly important for them? So first of all, um, I don't want to speak to them particularly given I wouldn't, uh, sorry, I'm getting nervous here. Um, I would just recommend this to anyone really, you know, it's a quick phone call away. You call and the guidance is provided to you immediately. I don't, I didn't feel there was nothing necessarily I had to do to initiate everything. I was really just, it was easy sailing, easy riding. And it's just really been a truly great opportunity. All I did was express my interest and I was immediately guided or suggested into a place of work that would cater to my eventual dreams or goals. So anybody should really apply for this. Gotcha. Just for being nervous. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate that. Um, also, um, just wanted to shoot that question out to the whole uh, the, the whole group, and um, you know, also you know, in terms of you know working with this population. Also, question for the you know for the whole group, or maybe Otto, um, how has this program been during the pandemic last year? When I, I imagine it must have been very difficult for a lot of young people to actually be physically in, uh, you know at at work with the with the pandemic and socially distancing wondering if you guys developed any protocols with that and what's changed right now is uh, perhaps the pandemic is beginning to lift in in some areas yeah thank you so much for your question uh let me first start about the outreach that is being done we have uh close to 50 america's job centers all over the county that are working closely with um high schools uh, community colleges, nonprofit organizations, to pass the word out about the availability of this program. You talk specifically about foster youth. Uh, we work closely with the Department of Children and Family Services. In fact, there is a link, a uh, referral, that allows uh, individuals or uh, foster youth to apply, or their social workers oftentimes refer them to us so that we are able to connect directly with them. We have the same process with the Department of Probation, as you can see from uh, Chief Gonzalez, in which uh, individuals or youth that are on probation can quickly apply into this program and receive uh, the services from our America's Job Centers. The same uh, process we are following with uh, individuals currently receiving public assistance. Their children that are currently receiving CalWORKs have a uh, clear connection to our department. And based on that, we are uh, recruiting them all over the county. You also asked about what we've been doing during the pandemic. I'm excited to let you know, we created a, a virtual program that allowed many of the participants to receive classes directly dealing with various industries, uh, helping them gain some of the skills they needed to do in order to make them more marketable as they uh, gained the experience to get jobs. Worked also with some organizations that allow them to work virtually from home. So that was done during the pandemic. Uh, obviously, as the economy is opening up on June 15, the opportunities for them to work uh, in the field are much greater now. Um, you heard from uh, the director of the Department of Parks and Recreation. In reality, we're going to have youth actually there working at the parks, helping them. The county is obviously following all protocols that are being given to us by the federal government uh, and Kalosha. So we are confident that as we open on June 15, uh, the economy opens, and as the, we continue to have this program roll out much more throughout the county, that we will have more youth embedded in their various work environments while we keep the um, safety requirements that have been given to us.
Thank you. And at this time, there are no further questions. Thank you all for tuning in and to our speakers for participating. This will conclude, conclude our briefing for today. Thank you, everyone.